Welcome back to another episode of Careful Boys. We are currently off the record. Boom! I like these videos. I had a, I had a question. I was talking to uh, Smack last night about this because um, we were talking about like like some some gay friends that we have, and um, I was like, "Yo, like I've had some so many gay homies." Shout out Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that like they'll always like make. Not like all the time, but very frequently they'll make remarks about sucking my dick or like <laughs> like stuff where they like it'll touch me and like give <laughs> really physical compliments and like real like nasty stuff and and it just rolls off you know whatever you don't you don't well, really take, friends joke like yeah, that you don't take too, it seriously yeah. right yeah. but then is that equivalent to when a straight dude is joking like that to his like female friends oh Where, wait like, what like telling a female friend you'll suck their dick like that you'll eat their hey, pussy or would yeah. be crazy if you started sucking my dick <laughs> right <laughs> we're friends though sex jokes because like we were talking about how like oh like because smack was like yeah isn't that funny that if you did that like it would be really inappropriate yeah it would be and i was like oh yeah i guess that's true that is a huge problem huh we should rectify this <laughs> because we're stronger than them and we could literally physically dominate them that's why it's fucking weird is it weird I'm making it too real but we actually do have friends that do that too. Like we know people in this. That dominate each other? No, no, that like like guys with girls <laughs> that before they were married or whatever, they'll talk to girls like that just to explore what the boundaries are, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a very- Like flirting? Aggressive, like- Like, like being toxic? Aggressive, toxic right. flirting, yeah. yeah. Seeing if you're, they're comfortable with you saying like sexual things around them. Okay. Oh, yeah. so in the same scenario, you would say that like your gay homies are trying to like find out the boundaries yeah. possibly. Well, Who it, knows? We either know way. Like, it's like a joke. It's like a joke if you like rub it off. Oh, that's a weird word to use. Uh, if, you, if it like, you know, just bounces off your shoulder. But if you're kind of like, well, I mean, are you down? Then it's like, they're serious too. Right? I genuinely think that's just their humor. Like, I don't really think they're gonna, they're like, what, you're really gonna fuck me? Like, I don't yeah, think that's gonna I happen. Think, I don't think we know the intention and I don't think we know the boundary. I think it's just, there's this parallel between two types of interactions. Well, let's take it to our correspondent on the field. Hey, What's do you up? ever, uh, <laughs> do you think there's an equivalence like with that at all? Or is it like, um, I mean, I've do it to girls a lot. Like you mentioned earlier, like some of my best female friends will be like, Yo, shut up, or I'm gonna come eat that pussy out or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's tight. That's, that's, tight. I think that's, that's actually, funny. Though. That's funny because he's gay. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. What, yeah. what does she say? If I'm straight, no, you that's won't, fun. dude. No, you <laughs> won't. <laughs> that's She's all like, don't, don't do test me. Don't do it again. <laughs> She's like, you'll faint if you see this. <laughs> that's true. I'll turn yeah. you straight. I'll turn, I'll turn. <laughs> we could be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a weird double standard. But I don't know what it is, though. Me neither. I think it's what Steve said at the yeah. beginning of the video. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it is. What Steve, yeah, I think that is a huge I, part of it. It's a real thing. Well, because, like, okay, well, he's doing that to a girl, but that's not, it doesn't sound off because he's gay. Right. Yeah. But if it was straight, then it does sound off. Because he could physically dominate Okay, her. so let's say we use, <laughs> let, let's say we use that hypothesis, right? But let, yeah. let's say the gay dude, 6'4", 250, uh -huh. the guy he's flirting or testing boundaries or whatever with. Uh-oh. Five three, hundred and thirty pounds. Uh -huh. Same, you know, type of power dynamic. Okay. Then is that now not okay? Or it is, is a little it, different. It's just weird, bro. Did you see that video of that guy, the big black dude, and he's talking to some like skinny European cat, and they're both yeah. gay dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, I fuck the shit out of you, dog. Yeah. I got King Kong dick. He's like, you ain't gonna be walking again after this or something. What like did the that. European guy say? He's uncomfortable. And you're watching this video like, this is a little uncomfortable. And then, yeah, and he was like, how about a kiss? And he's like, uh, and it's just weird. It's just a weird interaction. But it's All because he's being very hostile, you know? Yeah, he's a mega top, that dude. Yeah, yeah he's a giga top, dude. Yeah, giga top. Okay. I'm talking about the small dude. That's so fresh. Yeah. <laughs> but even in the situation where, like, let's say it's like a, a short ass dude with like a freaking six four girl yeah, football, like, he'll never be able to physically dominate her. But it's still inappropriate what he's saying to her, right? It's yeah. Just, yeah, just a lot. From yeah. straight guy to straight girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it depends on delivery. So like, yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, it is still odd. I don't know why. Yeah, I think when it's. Even if the guy is domineering, but he's gay, and you know there's clearly no way he would actually eat pussy, <laughs> like that he makes it really sure. funny. Like we left him alone in a room. <laughs> I, think, I, think what, I think what we're, I think what we're, I think what we're comparing trial. though is straight guy, straight girl, <laughs> that same interaction yeah. with a uh, gay guy, gay guy. Or gay guy, straight guy. Yeah. To you, to like, to you. Yeah, it, it's just a matter of like reality. Like, 
Uh, if uh, this would also not be appropriate because it's not appropriate, but like straight guy to a girl, but that girl is like clearly a lesbian and they're both close and he knows that she would never be down. Mm -hmm. There might be a space where it's like you say that and that would be like not mm. uh, offensive or dangerous. Yeah, because there's irony behind yeah, it and yeah. how you guys are close and it's yeah, funny so I think because it's it won't more, happen. Yeah. It's not just yeah. like physical. I think it's a, a, a matter of also like reality. It's like you do realistically, yeah. you know, fucking head her away and so do I. Versus like there's two different, you know, orientations here that obviously it doesn't work. It's sort of like this room, right? Half of us, I think just about all of us. We say things in this room we would not say normally, <laughs> like in like a, a regular house party. For Give us an example of something Bart would say. What? My <laughs> kids are hot. I never said that. Bart would say that it in a, a business statement. meeting. Yeah. That was a statement. It was just more of a <laughs> zany phrase. Zany That'd be a great bumper sticker. <laughs> I did find it to be like, even if you go, let's say um, you dial it way back, right? And um, let's say like Anthony shows up and he just has a really nice outfit, right? Yeah. Uh, and He's going bowling today. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. But like, let's say. Perfect you need the whole outfit context, okay? Right. Nobody bowls with their rings on. Or the OTD. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Right? I had to dress it for weird out, you bitches. <laughs> I think he's about to serve some alcohol at a nice diner. <laughs> I think he's on roller skates and I'm at a fucking burger joint. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You sell LED hats on the strip. No shit. <laughs> on a side note, have you guys noticed how often like homies call other homies submissive and breedable nowadays? Submissive yeah. and breedable? Like yeah. so I have common not heard that. that. In my life. Yeah, that's that. plain. You're looking hella submissive and breedable today. That's I've never wow. heard submissive, I heard the breedable. <laughs> yeah. Breedable? Breedable, yeah. Breedable. Like, are you, like you're talking about breeds breed of a, uh, like a dog. You're gonna breed that. What a baby you use. That's a dog. That's so funny. Yeah, I feel like I see this like on a daily basis. Yeah. Dude, your <laughs> generation is gay shit. It's like literally yeah. just like, it's in the straight sections of yeah, social media. I mean, breedable is a very popular comment now <laughs> for just anything. Homie looking hella To your point though, uh, or where I think you might have been going, like, yeah. I understand why your gay friends would be saying that to you too. You know what, what? I mean? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Because you look hella breedable, right? <laughs> does it, does it Ron always look hella breedable? No, but like the, the feeling of like, uh, <laughs> let's say like if I complimented your outfit <laughs> with a sexual overtone, like, like, ooh, I wanna eat you up kind of thing. Like, that has nothing to do with my outfit. Thank you. That's exactly what I mean. But there's compliments. There's compliments that happen like that. Where if you did that to a straight woman, it would be completely bad. Oh yeah. yeah you see what sure. I mean? Like yeah. yeah. That's the point. But like yeah. guy to guy is fine. Yeah. But even and then fucking gay, gay to guy, guy is fine. Is fine. Yeah, it's yeah. totally yeah. nothing happens. When when I see like uh, my straight homegirls and they look really fly. The way I compliment them is by doing things like yes, and everything is so cool. you appropriate gayness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so cool. It's appropriate, yeah. You appropriate gayness. No, no, it's appropriate. It's different. <laughs> Do chicks let you feel their boobs? Yeah. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so stupid. I rest my case, Your Honor. <laughs> it's like oh, so cool. Even if they don't know that I'm gay, they will. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I was pretty lucky in that sense. That so sick. That's the part that I think is, is really interesting. It's like, go, Ew, this is disgusting. Yeah. No, I don't think boobs are gross. You like boobs? <laughs> <laughs> Not sexually. He throws up. He just, uh, it's like, he goes, oh. God, it gotta go, it gotta go, it gotta go. Like, oh so shit. So mine is the mouth. He doesn't mine, want yeah. It's a big Cause for one. me, I can't wait to drink it. Right. Wait. Yeah. Like Every drop. Yeah. yeah. Cause girls like boobies too. Girls, like yeah. girls touch each other's boobies. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Now I'm always so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> now we found a loophole. <laughs> see, it was like, why wasn't I born a woman? I can touch my titties all day. <laughs> Most like tits when I see them like outside the shirt, I'm like, I almost just kind of picture a fat dude sometimes cause there's not that much of a difference. <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. And girls who have just natural boobs like that aren't Fake. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney's boobs, you'll, you'll never get a fat guy like that. I don't know, dude. I can find one. You'll never I'll get a fat fucking... guy like that. <laughs> Challenge. Because if the fat guy was like that, he's hella breedable. Yeah. Yeah. That's one Sydney Sweeney compliment that's never been said till today. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you might get a fat guy with that size, but then it comes with the belly. <laughs> Yeah, that's getting true. Getting a dress like that, that's my friend. True. That's what makes him fat. Hey, I beg to differ, my boy. <laughs> 
I'll so you, take a dare. <laughs> yeah, I'll I do take agree. That I think it's the threatening okay. factor of like, wait, it's just kind of jarring when when that's being said from like a guy to a girl. That's straight. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just wild. <laughs> it's just wild to say, damn girl, I'm gonna slap them boobies yeah. around or something. Be like, like I'll fucking eat your it pussy. It up definitely right now. depends on the relationship you already have with that. Yeah. But it's not it's not gay guy to girl. It's gay guy to guy. Like it's it's the why does it feel like totally cool? You know what I mean? Because it still feels it's, like it's the boys. Yeah, that's true. Part even though, way. even if he is attracted to you, it still feels like the boys. It doesn't yeah. feel like there's a boundary or like weirdness. It's not like my sister's walking around and I'm like, oh, 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 I'm gonna eat that pussy. Ah. Wait, why'd you bring your sister into but this? Like, <laughs> don't speak for me. <laughs> I do think a platonic male-female relationship uh -huh. is like sibling relationship. That's yeah, why yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah, weird. Yeah. It's kind of like, yeah, you don't do sexual innuendos with your sister. No. Unless what, you're Steve Green. What if it was a lesbian chick messing around with a straight chick? Do you think it's weird again or no? How, what's the size? She's trying to convince her. She's trying to convince her and she's like, we could be great. We could be great. I don't know. Two, yeah, inches, that, you think so? Two, three inches different. In that it sense? It depends on the situation for sure. <laughs> yeah, how close are they? <laughs> it probably depends on how hot each other are too. Like there's definitely attractiveness and pretty privilege in these scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> pretty privilege, is that what you just call it? Yeah, you can get away with saying a lot more if you're prettier. Don't act like you don't That's know true. what that is. Yeah. yeah, you're the prettiest guy in this room, Anthony. You get privilege all the time. Fuck you. I hate you. Everybody's just yapping at the same time. Suddenly we got something to say. I'm submissive and breedable, boy. Come here. Come here. Fucking yes. Pretty privilege? <laughs> Tower, do you ever credit card a girl's ass and she turns around and she's like, Oh. <laughs> um, I haven't done that one yet. Okay. Try. I feel like a random chance. Try it, let us know. I feel like Tyler's like grabbing a boob and she's like, "Are you sure you're not gay?" And then I mean, you're gay. And then and then Tyler's like, "Yeah, I'm kind of gay." And then she's like, "Man, that was straight, man." That doesn't probably happen to you. I feel right? like girls be like, oh, they're disappointed man. that he's gay. Yeah. yeah, it is kind of a weird existence sometimes. Yeah. I feel like you're, cause you're like, you're appealing to both. Between two worlds. Yeah. Between yeah. two worlds. Yeah. Yeah. He's a purgatory. You're like talking to them, you're like, I would so come over there. You, do you, do you think like even come like all over the city? One, two, three percent of them is kind of like. I hope you do. Please. <laughs> I'd like to assume 100% when I say please. Let's go. Oh, wow. Conference. Let's fucking go. Why would you pass up? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> How did this conversation even come up with Smack? I was talking about because, like, I was. Yeah. We were. <laughs> We were just like on our phones, and then I was talking to one of my gay friends, and he just started saying sh like really gay shit to me, and it was funny. And then I was like laughing about it. Who's gonna like, spread your butt cheeks yeah, yeah, yeah. like like to fucking motorboat your butt? Like, like, like he would do it, and then I was just like, back in a suitcase and come over there and take you for myself. <laughs> yeah, like really stupid shit. Like, like he always says that. Someone stuff. Read from behind. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Someone so, like, said that. Too. She was like, what, "Why are you laughing?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm laughing because of this." And she's like, "Oh, that's funny that like." If uh, like you could never say that to anybody, oh, and I was like, oh, interesting. That's true. <laughs> He's like, I think I mm, maybe. Because I I failed I failed to realize how normalized like that is guy to guy. Yeah. That it's like you don't even think like that's an HR issue. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? Like I could see that happening at at work with a coworker, and I wouldn't even think to report that. Yeah. You know, but then if I, the second I have like even one percent of that to another woman, it'd probably be an issue. Big right? trouble. Big, big trouble. But I, I, I also I think I also think that you know, again, coming from that very powerful dance community, <laughs> um, we're just exposed to it all the time. So I think we're even more desensitized to the random person who isn't as exposed to it. So let's say they just worked at an office job and had a coworker who was gay, and they're just never around gay people. That might be more uncomfortable to them. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because then they take it all serious and shit. Yeah, they might be like, um, should I go to HR about this? Gerard is coming for my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, he ain't like, it doesn't like So it. it really does come down to your relationship is all. I think that the dance community is submissive and breedable. <laughs> As a whole, right? <laughs> now that I know that term. <laughs> now that what I know that I, term. What have I done? I feel like the dance community is fully curious. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Like they're all like, everyone's experimenting. Interesting. Yeah. What well, gives you that impression? Because everyone's in touch with their feelings. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Fair, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're in touch with their feelings, then... We're in touch with each other. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Says it Adam so hard. Right, guys are watching hours of footage of each other just like moving around. Yep. <laughs> oh. You know, like, after a couple hours, they yeah. just get conditioned. They're like, I kind of like this. And I think they bond through physical things. So instead of saying, you're my friend, they go, let me fucking push my dick against your dick and fucking <laughs> rub it together. <laughs> and we're going to burn some fire. Is that a thing? Captain that Hook that? versus Peter Pan. Yep. Is that, that something? Oh, that yeah. happens? I've heard things that happen to the dance community. Oh, oh really? I dance? Does he? <laughs> I dance? But solo, bro. Do you think yeah, Anthony's had experiences like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he mm -hmm. told me. I do, yeah. He did? Yeah, but I'm not supposed to say anything. Oh, yeah, not on camera. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do the what? Ken just explore each other's bodies? Oh, why do you think we made an all-male group? <laughs> yeah, it's all-male. It is all-male. There's no girls allowed. Right? Whoa, what <laughs> irony? Isn't Quest the kind of all-male group, too? <laughs> yeah. the, 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 get, the crews are all, it's like, I'm a quest. Like, this is a quest <laughs> to meet men. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, can. Gotcha, can. <laughs> what? Yeah. What He's is the dancer we're talking about. What is a poriotic? What is a poriotic? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. I don't know. It's popping. There's only one choreo dance the and robotics. Oh, yeah. oh, that's where it comes. The mashup. And Never gaze. questioned it. And <laughs> I already forgot what it is. Mm. Yeah. You know, I heard it, forgot it. You know what's <laughs> interesting to me is like we saw a whole era of like like all right, we're like like in the nineties, right? Like it's like dudes were just walking around Hollywood and they literally get like fucked up because they're gay. Like someone was holding someone's hand and they get beat up, right? And then fast forward to now, like, if you're not gay, you weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that what you think, Tyler? Do oh. you think we're all weird? <laughs> I mean, not for the sexuality part. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's like being in a car and you're going towards a destination, and then all of a sudden the car just completely turns around. <laughs> That's what that story was. You know I what it is, that. though. Oh. <laughs> I do think I do think back in the day, right? Like uh, I didn't normally associate. Now, when I think about gays, a lot of them are like ridiculously like physical gods. Like they're buff and like they take take care of themselves. True stereotype. It really is all right. Like hella, true hella. They, they dress well. True stereotype. They smell good. True stereotype. Yeah, all that stuff. So it's different. I, I, like most gay guys probably whoop my ass. I'm gonna say that right and now. And kiss it and, and fuck it after. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end right there. That's gonna be the end. <laughs> hey, we're gonna play one of our favorite games. We're all gonna close our eyes and put our heads down. And Tyler over here. It's gonna pick the most submissive and breedable among us, <laughs> and then we, we don't tell us who it is. We'll just find out in the video afterwards. All right. Okay. Close your eyes. And then ready and make sure it's clear and point for a while because there's three different angles. And it's difficult for the editor. <laughs> and right, mouth right. and mouth out the name so three, then people know. <laughs> two, <laughs> one. That's so crazy. One point. Let them know how submissive and how breedable they how are. How do you let them know how? I mean, Alright, don't let us know. Just let the fans know. Just do the point. Yeah, right, we'll, see, we'll find out after. Stop pointing so we can open up our eyes. You can open, you can open. Open okay. up our assholes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Okay, who hopes it's them? 